All right, so today we're going to be taking a look at the Duck Booster fan. This was sent to me at no charge for this review, and I'm going to do my best to show you all the features that are available on this fan. Now, this is just going to be your typical standard 4x10 register cutout, and this is going to fit the back side. It's going to be just shy of 4 inches and just under 10 inches, and then the outside casing, the uh, diffuser side, is going to be about 13 inches long. So it's going to cover your hole completely, and then it's going to allow you to draw up cool air from your from your ductwork and blow it out into the air, into the atmosphere, into the environment. Now you can see on the back side it does have a double fan. It's got a low, medium, high, and then it's also got a turbo fan on it. I'm going to show you all those here in just a minute. All the features that are available on here is the temperature for your air conditioning if you want to cool air. And then you've got a mode button right here where you can set that. I got mine currently set at 70 degrees. And so it does have a thermostat inside. So when it reaches the 70 degrees, 71 degrees, it will automatically kick off. Um, and then if we go to the heating side, the heating side is off, but if I wanted to turn that on, I would just simply kick the uh, plus button up or down and the fan did shut off. You can see all the fan blades have quit because the heat is on. Again, if I wanted to switch that, I need to cycle through here and go back to the cool and turn my cool on and I wanna drop that down to about 70 degrees where it was and then the fan is just gonna to continue to blow until it reaches that particular temperature. There, the heat went automatically off, and then this is gonna be my fan speed. I can adjust that span, fan speed with my plus and my minus here, and I want you to notice when we kick it up here to number five, Now that's a, a pretty intense uh, air speed right there, moving a lot of air, drawing up a lot of the cool air from the basement to cool down the uh, to cool down the room that this is going to be in. So what you're going to do is you're going to be saving finances on running your air conditioner or running your heat. Now if I push the T, which is turbo, it kicks it up one more notch, which is super nice. I really like that. Now, if I was to hold the mode button for an extended period of time, it's going to lock the display so that none of these buttons can be pushed. If you have a child uh, that might like to push little buttons here, uh, they won't be able to change any of your settings. To shut that off, you're just going to long press that again, and now we can drop that fan speed down just a little bit so that we can, so that we can hear what's going on here. So for the installation, it's just gonna be a matter of dropping it in the pre-cutout hole, and then you're gonna to have to plug it in. It does have a 12-foot power cable on it. Again, you got a 12-foot cable on here. All you're gonna do is plug it in right at the register, and then, uh, then you can secure two screws in here to keep it fastened to the floor. It does also come with your user manual, and then it also does come with a remote control where all of these uh, features are available on the control as well. So you just pull out that little piece of insulation so that the battery is active and then we can go ahead and we can make some adjustments right here. First with the mode we can go through all of the settings that we just did. We can kick up that fan, we can turn it on turbo, we can lock it here and unlock it, we can power it on, we can power it off, everything Everything that we want to do here, we can do right here as well. The last feature that I want to show you, the last feature that I want to show you is the uh, brightness mode right here, where we can change the brightness or the illumination of the display from a high, medium, and then to an off. Whatever you choose to use it, however you choose to set it, it's going to stay there, and then you can also do it on the remote control. So, super nice booster fan. It does come in two different models. Uh, they're both going to fit the 4x10 hole, uh, but the other model is going to be just a little bit longer, a little bit more decorative. So, if you are, are looking to save a little bit on your uh, electric bill, if you're looking to save a little bit on your heating bill, I think the duct booster fans are really a great choice. This one right here from Turbo Air Supply is really a good booster fan, and it's one that I would recommend.